In today's video series, we are going to talk about cleaning data using the trim and clean functions. Now, these two functions are often overlooked. However, as you will see in later videos, when we start talking about logical statements and VLOOKUPs, these two functions are actually one of your most crucial functions to understand and to put into play in the real world. So what do they do if they're so important? Well, the trim function removes all leading and trailing spaces in a cell, whereas the clean function removes all the non-printing characters. We'll talk more about what that exactly means. So the trim function, as, as we said, removes all the leading and trailing spaces. So why do we care about that? Well, let's look at some sample data. In this example here, I'm telling you there are some leading spaces. You can click in here and see, yes, there are a few leading spaces in front of that L. Well, who cares? Well, we care when we want to test for equality. So if you ever want to do an if statement and you want to say if this equals this, or if you want to do a VLOOKUP and you're matching data to another file, you want to make sure that the data matches and that includes leading spaces or trailing spaces. If I intend for this value to actually be leading space with no spaces, as you can see in this cell, there's no spaces at the front and there's no spaces in the end. Well, if I wanted to check to see if these two values were equal, and I do a simple test for equality between these two values, Excel will say, well, this, they're not the same value. And that's because this value here has a few spaces in front of the word leading. Well, there's a quick function to fix that, and that's the trim function. So if I type a function trim, and reminder that we'd start all functions with the equal sign, and then we start typing the word trim. And if you ever forget how, how, what the function does, Excel does give you a little bit of a helper over here, removes all spaces from a text trim string except the single spaces between words. So that's exactly what we said. It'll remove all leading and trailing spaces. It does not remove the spaces in between words in a sentence. So trim takes simply one parameter. It takes a text parameter. So once I type my function trim, I click on my data, which is this leading space over here with the spaces in front. And you notice pretty obviously that the spaces are now gone at the front of the word leading. Let's now do my test for equality again, just to make sure that it really did what I wanted it to do. There it is, true. So now this leading space value is equal to this leading space value because the trim function removed the spaces. Now when the spaces are leading, it's a lot easier to notice that the, there are actually spaces when they're in front of the word. What's much more difficult is when there are spaces trailing the last word in your string. In this, in this cell here, I've got the trailing space and you notice when I click into the cell that there are spaces after the word trailing space. You would not notice that unless you actually clicked into the cell and dove a little bit deeper. I wanted this word to be trailing space with no space. If I click in here, you'll notice that there's no space at the end. So if I test for equality and I check this trailing space with the spaces at the end and this trailing space without the spaces at the end, Excel will tell me that, hey, yeah, they're not the same. Well, again, if I do the trim function, remember to start with the equal sign, type your word trim, finish the function with the left parenthesis, or you can use the shortcut tab. Click on my trailing space that has the leading spaces. And it's very difficult to tell if there was any change because, again, they're trailing spaces. The trailing spaces are very hard to tell. So let me use Excel to try to make sure that the function worked as desired. And there we go. So now that I tested for equality, this trailing space equals this trailing space because I removed those spaces at the end of the string. That's the first problem because Excel did not recognize the matching data because there were extra spaces. Problem number two is when you're doing lookups or logical statements, if the data types do not match, 
Excel will also not return an equal. So here I've got a numeric value, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you watch the previous data types video, you'll know that it's numeric because there's no green arrow in the upper left hand corner. Whereas these guys have that green arrow and it tells you that the that Excel is recognizing this as a number, but it is formatted as a text. I wanted this number to be the text value one, two, three, four, five, six. If I do a test for equality, you'll notice that these values are not equal. And you might look at it and say, well, they're exactly equal. They both say one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no leading space or trailing space in either of these, but they're still giving me a non-match. And that's because the data types do not match. This value here is a number, and this value here is a text. In order for Excel to say these two values are exactly the same, they have to have not only the same characters, but also the same data type. Well, that's the nice thing about trim is it converts everything to a text value. So if I perform the function trim on my one, two, three, four, five, six numeric value, it'll return a text. You won't see that green arrow in the upper left hand corner because this is our third data type, which is a formula. So it is, it is not recognizing this as a number, even though the output is a number, the actual data type of this value here is a formula. Now, if I did that same test for equality on my text value, one, two, three, four, five, six, against my trimmed value, one, two, three, four, five, six, you will notice that they actually do match. Excel will say, yes, these are the same value. This is very important to be able to do when you're especially given someone else's data or when you pull data from your company's ERP system. You don't know who entered the data. You don't know how diligent they were. Maybe they accidentally hit a space sign when they entered the data. A lot of data that you get is unintentionally dirty and it is our job to clean it. And it'll save you a lot of headaches when you're given someone else's data and you're asked to do either a VLOOKUP, uh, a logical if statement, or really just any type of matching, it is always best to make sure that that data is clean and properly formatted. The next function we're gonna talk about is the clean function. So what the clean function does is it removes the first 32 characters of the seven bit ASCI code. Now you might not know what those are. There's a couple examples down here. Sometimes you get this little rectangular box. Sometimes you get this question mark. We typically don't use these characters, but these are often, uh, we often get these characters when you copy data from the internet. If you go to a website, copy the data, and then paste it into Excel, often these non-printing characters are populated in your tabs. And so our problem is, well, how do we remove them? Now, if it's one or two, it might not be too hard just to go into your data and manually delete it. But what if you have a couple hundred rows and every value has one of these special characters in there and you want a quick and easy way in order to remove them. Well that's where the clean function comes in. So here you've got this Google Inc separated by this non-printing ASCI code. If I test for equality, obviously Excel is going to say they don't match because clearly they don't match. There's this extra character thrown in there. So the fix is to perform a clean. So like all functions, start with an equal sign, start typing your word clean. You can see, get a little uh, brief overview of what the function does, removes all non-printable characters. We already said that. Hit tab, now select your parameter. It's just a single parameter that's a text value. When you hit enter, you'll now notice that the little rectangular box is gone. We removed that non-printing character. If I repeat my test for equality, Excel now says, I found a match. They're the same value. Okay. Now let's do a couple practice problems. Two functions, one parameter. This should be pretty quick and easy. So first example, Amazon Core. Let's see. I know that there's a non-printing character in there. Are there any leading spaces? Nope, no trailing spaces. Okay, so all I need is a clean. If I perform my clean on the Amazon Corporation, you'll now notice that that little rectangular box went away and my results said I got it right. Example two, I don't see any non-printing characters. 
It does look like there is a uh, leading space though. Maybe there's a trailing space, I don't know, but just to be safe, I'm gonna do a trim because it removes both, doesn't matter. There you go, you'll now notice that that leading character is gone. There are five more examples here. I'm actually gonna do one more example, just because what if I didn't know if there was a non-printing character or a leading or trailing space, and I wanted to be 100% sure that I cleaned my data and took care of both instances of a leading and trailing space and non-printable characters. Well, you can actually chain link your functions too and perform both a clean and a trim. So if I first start with a trim and I'll trim this data, that's right, because there's no non-printable characters, but if I wanted to, I could also perform a clean all in one step. So in front of that trim, I am just going to type the word clean and hit tab, and then close out a second parenthesis. So I'm first performing a trim on that data, so I'm removing the leading and trailing spaces. Then whatever the output of this function is will become the input to my clean function. And so I'm chain linking two functions together. And that way I know for sure 100% that my data is clean and ready for matching. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.